I'm a technical specialist here at Cisco and today I'm here to talk about how the UCS X-Series um, acts as an enabler for hybrid cloud. So today in this very short presentation we will be talking about the challenges faced in today's data center environment and then how the UCS X-Series solves those challenges and if you have any questions please do leave them in the chat. So a little bit of an overwhelming first slide, however, we're gonna, we are gonna break this down. So I'm going to use this slide to explain some of the current challenges and complexities that today's enterprise data center is facing. So firstly, we've got the diversity of the applications of many businesses. So in particular, you've got um, organizations with traditional applications, cloud native, CPU intensive, GPU intensive, and then the myriad of ways that they are deployed. So some are sitting uh, on the operating system directly, containerized, containerized on hypervisors, um, and then the concept of hyper distribution. So uh, not shown on this slide here. Um, however, applications, as you know, they're not just sitting on um, in just one location. They're on you know on premise, private, public clouds. Um, and not only that, but different private and public clouds. Um, AWS may not have the uh, functionality that GCP or Alibaba Cloud does. So, so that brings additional complexity with respect to that. Um, and then, and then, and then you've got obviously the management dilemma. So we're seeing each of these layers managed independently. So, operating system, the hypervisors, um, even you know, from a hardware perspective, you've got storage, network, compute, they're all managed, uh, in, uh, you know, uh, independently. So siloed management, actually, that's a problem in terms of, you know, um, being being operationally efficient. Um, then you've got the various types of servers that you see here. Uh, you know, it's complex, there are many discrete pieces, and that's occurred for a ve very valid reason, because every time the enterprise is there, needed a new application they got the best of what you know the ecosystem provided so if that meant a combination of blade and rack servers then so be it said the data center manager um but not only is this an unagile way of working because let's say if you want to expand or upgrade you know it's going to be a forklift of a job uh, but it also ends up being quite costly so the siloed management is one thing, but then you've got the over-provisioning and under-utilization going on at the same time. Uh, and we're going to take a look at um, more of that in, in a few slides. Um, and that's alongside the inefficiency of the siloed racks, and because you've got obviously independent power going to all of your different racks. And um, with the electric rate being at what it is, it's really making organizations wonder whether it's sustainable for them to continue to have a hybrid infrastructure or to even start, um, you know, uh, to set up a hybrid infrastructure in the first place. So we're in an era where the IT departments must have a solution that alleviates these problems and this huge complexity and management dilemma that they're currently facing. And we know from a study, and if I could just reference this study, um, we know from a study conducted by the IDC a few years ago that there, there will be a 300% increase in the number of applications running in the data center. But we don't need a, a study to sort of to con conceptualize that. We, we know that's happening. Uh, so it's on a huge scale, but we still need the granular control. You know, if we're gonna have the if we're gonna have applications running on prem, so uh, what do we do to globally, man, uh, you know, to manage that to operate it? And oh, I forgot to show the slide, but yeah, here it is. So the answer to that is, and um, someone can play the drum roll, is well, well, we at Cisco, we we like to say that is the Cisco UCS X Series modular system. So it's managed by Intersight. Uh, it was introduced by Cisco just last year, after a decade of the older uh, UCS. 
um, and it's got a cloud built, you know, cloud operating system built in from the beginning to give you that cloud like experience. Um, we like to say it blurs the line between um, on prem and, um, and, and the cloud. So we're going to take a look at some of the features of this mega machine, if I can call it that. But more importantly, what problems it solves in today's world of um, hybrid infrastructure and cloud operations. So let's take a look. So, so composability, okay. So I'm gonna explain this through um, a, s a story example. So here's Bob, he's an application user in his organization. He's got two GPUs in his rack server. It's Friday afternoon and he needs one more GPU um, to get some simulations done a bit faster. Um, you know, b b before he before he before he checks out, so he knows in the cloud that he could spin up whatever he needed a lot faster. But for whatever reason, you know, the application that application must be run on prem, and there are multiple reasons as to why an application must be run on premise. Um, but yeah, that's not the subject matter today. Uh, the IT department says no to Bob's request for another GPU because his server. You know, only fits two GPU, and they'll need to buy another server, and that isn't ideal. And even if they were to agree to get another server, then how long would that procurement and provisioning of that server take? And what I what I find what I personally find hilarious is that the same organisation may have underutilised servers in their organisation, which have multiple GPUs sitting there, all lonely, waiting to be given some attention. So. Where is the concept of incremental scale? Where is the concept of on-demand provisioning, you know, like the on-cloud experience? Um, so when I go to AWS, I can, you know, I can, um, I can, you know, get a beefy, beefy EC2 within, within minutes. Um, however, where's that, where's that concept within, within on-prem? So UCSX solves that by making the various logic uh, resources a logical shared pool of resources and that feature we call composability uh, so that's a summary of it and um, if, if you want to do further reading then you are more than welcome to do that so moving on to the next one modular so we mentioned that the x series is modular but what does that mean that means that the nodes are independent from the chassis and can be replaced as the technology improves so to, illust to illustrate an example of the modularity available within the UCSX series, um, I guess whilst also highlighting how how, sys how we've developed the um, the the X series has has been future proof. Um, on the back of the X series, we've got we've got what's called the X fabric. It's the bottom two components here, and this is what connects the compute, the drive, the GPU node. So and it's a mo it's a modular component so when pci gen 5 gen 6 or when um, we at cisco leverage silicon photonics you'll be able to replace that node whilst utilizing the, sh the the same chassis so and to say the obvious that allows organizations to not be concerned with how their on-premise data center is going to remain up to speed ultimately facilitating them to continue to support a hybrid infrastructure. Now, in terms of scalability, in terms of management, the X series is only managed by Intersight. So that means there's one control point for your various locations. So this helps by improving operational efficiency, reducing the complexity, you know, and the OPEX costs. Um, it allows organizations to scale when needed knowing that anything new their provision will still be managed by Intersight. And lastly, to round off with power efficiency, then the TDP in our CPUs and GPUs are significantly higher than the first generation servers. Uh, for, more for, for this more specific specs, you're welcome to uh, take a look at our spec sheet. Um, and in terms of cooling, then we're thinking about the future. So how can we cool those 300 to 400 watt CPUs and GPUs? So 
our chassis has support for liquid cooling. So when it's adopted in the data center, then you know we are ready for that. So that brings me to the end of my of this very short presentation. Hope that was beneficial. Um, and yeah, this is a reference slide which um, gives the gives the um, gives the details of the study that was conducted and some other details which you might have found useful. Thank you very much.